secret ingredient. Flavor call. This is why the movie theaters and the baseball parks and all the different places you go to, they have this in little packages that they squirt in there with the oil or they pour it. It's actually a powder. This was a nice little popcorn maker I found on Amazon, and people always ask, so I'll have the links in the descriptions below for uh, most of this stuff. Um, so you can repeat this if you want yourself or whatever. But this was, I think it was like 30 bucks. It was a, it's not like any heavy duty, you know, it's kind of plastic, but it's easy to use, it's easy to clean, and I think it's kind of neat. All you really need is your favorite popcorn, some Whole Foods organic yellow popcorn, um, oil, your favorite oil. This is some organic extra virgin olive oil I had. And the secret ingredient, flavor call. This is why the movie theaters and the baseball parks and all the different places you go to, they have this in little packages that they squirt in there with the oil or they pour it, it's actually a powder. Um, and again, I'll have a link to this, obviously, because that's what you're gonna be looking for uh, in the description. And on the side, it gives you the measurements based off how much popcorn you're making. I'm not gonna make as much because I think the smallest amount here is six ounces. I don't think I'm gonna make six ounces in this. Because this is the smaller version because it's just me and I just wanted to do this quickly to show you. But they have bigger sizes of these too and a lot of different models you can find if you search around. Um, I'll put the links to this one and you can go from there and find other models. You know, they have similar model links and stuff like that once you're on the website. Before we get started, I will say one thing. For salt, when you're salting your popcorn, this is sea salt with a sea salt grinder. You can turn upside down and grind it. Um, don't use this on popcorn. The reason people have specific popcorn salt or you can buy popcorn salt, it's really finely ground, which helps it get in the kernels. This is much too coarse. And you can use your just regular table salt, you know, little regular salt packets, but they actually do sell popcorn salt. Um, if I find that, I'll put a link for that too. Um, it's extra fine ground and it really works a lot better with popcorn. But it's, it's little things like that that seem like it's no big deal, but that's why it tastes so much better. The movie theaters, the ballparks. If you're using this model, I'll show you the directions obviously for this one. Now they say this can be, and the instructions to this can be a measuring bit, but it really doesn't explain how much you're putting in this. Um, so it's kind of silly. But Speed this up for you a bit. One, two, three, four. So, tablespoon. I put four tablespoons in this example. And, like I said, the chart will show you in the book how much to use in different makers, but I'm using one tablespoon of oil and just Put that in there like so. Get that out of the way before it makes a mess. Get that out of the way. And then you just pour the seeds on. Here. Now, the next step, when you put this on, it just kind of sits on here. You do not want to put this lid on until the popcorn is done popping because it needs to steam off. Now, one of the little tricks with this one is you can put pats of butter on here, and while it's steaming, cooking the popcorn, the butter will melt right into the popcorn. I'm not gonna do that here, just because it's just kind of messy, and I'm just, I'm actually probably not gonna eat much of this, because I just finished dinner. <laughs> but the, the one trick is, when you're done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on, and the instructions just say to put it on, and then you flip it over and the thing goes flying off. I learned the hard way. There's little grooves in here, and you can see there's little writing on here. You wanna line it up, even though it's just kind of like a little plastic thing and get those grooves lined up with the notches here and twist it. And then you turn it over and then this becomes your popcorn bowl. Just walk off, there you go. But you wait till you're done with that. Now, secret ingredient, the flavor call. Because I'm not making the minimum amounts where it says let's see, six ounces, half tablespoon, there's a whole chart here that shows you how much. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on here. To your liking, you can use more or less, you can experiment with it. And then, make sure the light comes on. It starts stirring around here. I 
make sure this is on. It doesn't really snap on or anything, so like I said, and again, don't set this on at this point. This is the part where you can put some butter on here. And it just starts mixing around. This is the oil mixing with the flavor ball, with the seeds. And obviously you can use more seeds or less seeds depending on how much you want to make. Um, I'm not sure the total capacity of this. I think, uh, you can look in the chart and see and experiment with different amounts of the flavor call, like I said, make it more potent or less. Some people like a lot, more seeds, less seeds, but um, speed this up here so you don't have to wait through this whole thing. smells so good. Like I said, if I put butter on here, it would smell even better because the butter would be melting onto this freshly hot popcorn. You just kind of wait for it to stop popping. Be careful, don't go too long with this machine. You can burn it if you leave it go too long. But just kind of wait till, like usual, until it slows. I don't hear it popping anymore. One or two, three. Kill that. Like this. Like I said, you want to be careful you put this on, twist it, lock it, and you take the whole device over. Be careful, it's really hot. Turn this over. Look at that. There's the machine. And there you have it. it smells good. Mm. If you want salt, add some salt. Get your favorite beverage. Get your favorite movie. And there you go. Look at it. it, comes in a bowl, easy to clean. In this particular case, they can set it's dishwasher safe, wipe this thing out, we're good to go. See you at the movies.